How did you come to own a car like this? What do you do for a oh, living? My so Albert, what the people want to know at home is how did you get to acquire such a beautiful car? What do you do for a living, Albert? Um, get the title of the fastest street car in the Philippines. Oh wow! So, so does it have yeah, that title? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Yeah, it does, uh, Good morning, guys. Rise and shine. It's six thirty a.m. on a Sunday. Yeah, I've never woken up this early on a Sunday before. But I've actually got um, something special lined up today. I'm actually attending a an event. I won't say too much about it now, but it's an event that I've been informed about, and I'm really looking forward to it. There's going to be some very unique things here um, at this event. Um, yeah, so come along on the journey. I'll take you there. Guys, back again. So uh, earlier on, I said I wouldn't tell you where I was until I'm here. So I can tell you now, I'm at a supercar meet. So this is where you're going to see a lot of exotic cars, exotic bikes, uh, supercars and super bikes, vintage ones as well. So we're going to see a mixture of all of those things and we're going to hopefully meet some of their owners and uh, just find a bit more about them. Here we've got a BMW. Got Porsches. Another BMW, look at the spec on that. It's been lowered. Sorry for the lighting guys. Um, it is a cloudy day here in Manila. It is the rainy season, so it's what we can expect. This is a very beautiful BMW. It's got a spoiler here at the back. So guys, I won't pretend to know like a lot about cars i just know bits and bobs from my from whatever my friends tell me i know they'd be very jealous to see that i'm here today we've also got um i'm not sure is this a you no know, it's a honda i thought i was gonna say ducati got a mustang here nissan gtr looking good hi good morning hello Welcome nice to, to our channel. You. <laughs> Welcome to mine as well. <laughs> so we've got a Nissan GTR here. So here are some of the vintage cars. This one is pretty cool. We've got a VW camper van. I'm not sure what this is. Looks like a proper British car. I'm not sure what it is. No, oh, that's a Corolla. I only know that because I was cheating and it says it there. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have known that. This, some sort of Mercedes. So I'm told there are a lot more on the way. Oh, I just spotted a Lamborghini there in the background. I'm not sure which Lamborghini this is. I'll find out for you lot, but you, you probably know anyway. Yeah, so what we'll do, we'll try, we'll try meet some of the owners and find out a bit more about them. But to be honest, I'm surprised to see a lot of these kind of cars. I'm told there's more coming. Um, yeah, I'm surprised to see these sort of cars and this wealth in the Philippines. Not that I didn't think they had it, it's just, it's not really in your face like that, you know. Um, but yeah, there's definitely wealth here. There's definitely wealth in the Philippines. And it's nice to see people doing well, um, especially in countries that are developing. It's good to see prosperous people. It inspires the next generation, it inspires, you know, entrepreneurism, things like that. So yeah, I'm happy to wit be witnessing this. All right, guys, so we're outside of M2. At the moment, this is owned by Gab. Hi, Hi Gab. Uh, so, do you want to just tell us a bit more about this car, the specs on it, and um, you know when you acquired it, things like that? So, this M2 is a 3.0 inline six engine. Yep. And uh, yeah, even though it's just an inline six, it really it's really powerful. It's really powerful. Really powerful. You Especially when you floor it, 
the rear wheels always uh, spin. Spin? Yeah. Okay, well, you might have to show me that later. Uh, so, in terms of this car, when did you buy it? Oh, I just got it last February. Last February? Yep. So, is it a 2021 model? Or? No, it's a 2019. It's a pre-owned pre by my uncle, which really had a very low mileage. Yeah. For a 2019 car, it's, uh, it only ra ran about 2,000 kilometers. Two oh, wow, that's very low mileage. That's maybe less than a thousand miles okay or close to a thousand miles understood so gab i think everyone is itching to know how did you come to own a car like this what do you do for a oh, living my, my i just have a lucky parents that uh, supports me with the uh, with my passion and they just let me drive the car for now that's wonderful that's what we yeah. all need in life we need parents that are supportive and parents that can buy us m2s <laughs> and support our passions but whatever passion it might be whether you're a musician or a um, car fanatic it's always nice to have parents that support your passion uh, like i said whether it's um, the arts sports cars whatever it may be it's always good to have supportive parents so if you are a new parent make sure you support your children in whatever they do as long as it's not against the law and it doesn't go against your morals that's just, right that's right just remember to support your children all the time all right thanks gab thank you Um, I'm here with one of the members from the Lambro groups. What's your Hello. name, please, bro? I'm Albert. Albert. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Albert. Uh, he's just pulled up in this. He's got it washed last night. So, yeah, I was telling the vlog, Albert, that um, so, Philippines actually have a nice car scene, super car scene oh, that yeah. not many people know about. Um, so, just tell me about when you purchased your car and actually, so, I just the got specs this of last it. December. Uh, but you get the supercars here in the Philippines only here in BGC. Okay. Uh, there's a lot. Uh, we got Porsche, Ferrari, McLaren, Lambro, like this. But only here in BGC because uh, the roads are nicer here. As in the the roads are nicer to yeah. drive on. Yeah, here in BGC, but outside BGC now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, so in terms of uh, the specs on this car, what can you say about it? Uh, this one. Yeah. Uh, this one is a 550-2 so that's 550 horses and uh, two-wheel drive rear two-wheel so, rear drive uh, it's more fun to drive you can slide it around not like the four-wheel drive okay very difficult to slide so Albert what the people want to know at home is how did you get to acquire such a beautiful car what do you do for a living Albert I'm, I'm an oral surgeon I'm a dentist you're a dentist yeah I have a clinic wow. right here yeah so he has a place here in BGC. Yep. What's the name of your practice if people want to come and see you uh, for this? UIC. UIC. Spiritual Orthodontic and Implant Center. Wow. Okay. So we know that we need to go here for the good tea. Yeah. All right. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> when you're here in BGC. Okay. All right. Thank you for your time, Albert. As we're here with Leo. Leo. Yes. Nice to Morning. meet you, Leo. Nice to meet you, man. Right. So this is your car here. Yes. yes. Do you want to introduce it? Tell me why it is, the specs on it, oh, and things a, like that. It's a, a Huracan. Then we installed the twin turbo kit. So. <laughs> okay. It's got a twin turbo on it. And when did you purchase it? Uh, last year. Last year. Yeah. Last year. Yeah. What made you want to go for this car specifically? Oh, we we want. I, I own a shop, it's Speedworks Engineering, so we wanted to get the title of the fastest streetcar in the Philippines. Oh wow. So, so does it have yeah, that title? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is? Yeah, it officially? Does, uh, yeah, it does 60 to 130 miles in... Wow guys, so here you have it. 3.6 seconds. So. 
We're here with the fastest I car in the streets of I wish we could take you for a ride, but uh, they won't allow us here. Okay, <laughs> oh, that's fine. Don't worry, at some point we'll be able to break some rules. Yeah. Just not here in BGC in front uh, of everyone. Not in BGC, they're, they're, they're strict here. So Leo, you said uh, you own an engineering shop, is it? Yeah, uh, automobile. a tuning shop. We tune the Tuning CEOs. shop? Yeah. Okay, nice. So that's how you've been able to afford such a nice car? No, no, no. He's being modest, but yeah, he's, this is what happens with hard work and determination and a bit of passion. Oh, yeah, yeah, just uh, you can keep, achieve keep this. grinding. Keep yeah. grinding, keep grinding, guys. So where can people find you? He said you've got a channel. Oh, yeah, YouTube and Facebook. Okay, what, what is the Instagram channel? Instagram also, yeah. yeah. Speedworks Engineering. Speedworks yeah, Engineering. In uh, Instagram, it's Speedworks Engineering Leo. Speedworks Engineering Leo. Well, there you go, have it. We've had it. Great time with Leo here today. Thank him for his time and check out his socials, guys. Cheers. As I've just ran into a biker gang, these are some hardcore gangsters. <laughs> I'm only joking. So they're part of the Cebu Harley chapter. Owners group. Harley Owners Group. Harley Owners, Harley yeah? Owners group. Okay, what are your names? Uh, I'm Derek and this is Agot. Agot. Yeah, nice yes. to meet you guys. Nice uh, to meet you. Can you just take us through your bikes and show us what, what where it is? Which one is it? This is my bike. It's a Harley Davidson. And that's also Harley Davidson. Which this model is this one? Also, uh, this is a road line. It's a road line, yeah. Uh, it's, it's too dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I ride it almost every day. And these are our biking buddies. They're not members of Cebu, but biking buddies. So did you guys ride down from Cebu? Uh, well, we rode to Cebu last November. Okay. Uh, so we'll be, we will be there every November. from. Uh, because it's the anniversary of Harley Owners Group Cebu chapter Understood. every November. Understood. And is this this your one? Uh, this is one of our buddies. Oh, one of your buddies? A Honda. A Honda. That one's a Honda. It's 1800, man. 1800 cc. <laughs> okay. One, He's one. the owner. Okay. Yeah, so this one's a fast one, yeah? Yes. All of them. Yeah, this, this two. 1800, 1800 cc. Okay. When's the last time you took it for a real spin? Like you used the most power that you could do? Oh, really? <laughs> Where this did you go? My, this is my daily transport. I don't, I don't ride car. I just drive bike. Okay. He's a notorious biker. <laughs> yeah, he's a notorious biker. So uh, going on to that, so how have you guys afforded to have such nice bikes? What do you guys do for a living? Oh, this one's a movie director. I rob banks. <laughs> <laughs> I told you these are biker gangsters. <laughs> so I'm a movie and TV director. Nice. And he's a businessman. A businessman, okay. So do any of my Filipino audience know or familiar with anything you've directed or anything like ah, yes, that? Uh, mostly ABS, CBN. Uh, ABS-CBN shows like uh, Los Bastardos and then Anginto uh, or local, local shows. Okay, well there you go. We're here with someone who's very famous, also a part-time gangster. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Let me give it up.